everyone, this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com and man, do I have a treat for y'all to check out because we have something coming that will put shivers down your spine. I'm telling you guys, especially you guys that are in the ocean, uh, you're doing like heavy duty trolling, fast trolling. You want something that is immensely boss, just powerful. Well, we've got something coming for you. So this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com and make sure that when you're here to watch this video, you don't forget to subscribe to our channel because anytime we come out with awesome products like this one here, which is amazing, you need to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell because you'll get an email and YouTube will be telling you, hey, check this new video out from fishfindermounts.com. They got something new and amazing for you, you, you guys out there, you sports fishermen and you know, whomever you may be, if you're doing oceanography or, you know, like diving, Whatever it is, we've got fantastic mounts for all sorts of scenarios, for all sorts of boats, guys. Call us at 1-855-784-3474. If you need one of our experts, our fishing, our, our mounting specialists to help you out, we are happy to help you. And we're um, available on Pacific time at this toll-free number between nine and five weekdays taking customer calls. So let's get right into in it, Chet, shall we? We are going to be talking about the Fish Finder Mount's new heavy duty live sonar pull mount. And actually it's a, it's really a heavy duty deployment um, mechanism, pull mechanism um, for all sorts of transducers, whatever you want them for guys, you know, like, but you know, we had in our minds when we developed this, it was really around the live sonar. So get, get ready and buckle your seatbelts guys. Cause I'm so happy to present this to you. And I'm very, very excited about it as you can tell. So here we have Fish Finder Mounts, new heavy duty live sonar deployment pole here. Wow, guys. Look at, look at, look at. Right now, this is our heavy duty, okay? This is our Gen 3. Right now, this is our heaviest duty product out there. But this thing here is like insane. So if you're just doing light duty type stuff, whatever. Yeah, of course the Gen 3 is a great product. There's no question about that. And we can take this guy, we can take it right out of the game if we want. Pull our linchpin out here, okay? We pull this guy right out and we can lay it in the boat. We can plug this guy in backwards, by the way, boys and girls. Backwards, we can plug it in this way, okay? If we want to and stow it that way. Of course, I got this block in the way. So I can't show you that exactly how I like, but it plugs in backwards. It goes in, I've got this heavy duty mount in our way. And you know what, I'll tell you what, I'll take it out of our way in, in a little bit so that we can see all of these amazing things. So this is our Gen 3. We have been producing this product for around two years now. It's fabulous, people love it. Um, a couple new things on it, by the way, guys, just before you get really into the HD. I came up with this idea when, when we were doing the HD because we love this handle system we've got going on right now. Um, and I wanna show you what I mean by that. Usually we've thought it's a paradigm that we had in our minds to have one handle right on here. But what happens when you're in your boat, of course everybody knows that if you move that one handle away from you, you're having to reach out further over the boat to move it all the way around, right? It's not as ergonomically as pleasant. Well, right now we do have a twist handle coming up, but for now, this is a great way. Guys have asked for those sort of circular type handles, like a steering wheel type handle. They've asked us for those. We haven't hit the, you know, uh, answered the bell on that, but I think this answers the bell really well. So you've got your one handle here and you got your other handle here, bang. So if this is the interior of the boat, if the camera looks down and you're standing in here, guys, this is this handle's here, and as you, the furthest away it gets is obviously at this point when you twist it. So you can take it, twist it, and then your other hand can grab this or the same hand, you see? You don't have to anymore bend over. So this is our new fixed handle from fishfindermounts.com. So if you prefer this idea over our fancy, and by the way, guys, I've got our pull caps on here. They don't come with these pull caps, but you can get these nice pull caps from our, you know, on our live sonar mounts page. I think it's on our accessories uh, page as well. It's, it's really cool, aluminum, machined aluminum. 
um, just to finish this off, cherry on the uh, pie or the icing on the cake, as they say. But these are all extendable, okay? You can get the, you can get whatever length. We, we make these in six inches. We make them in 20 inches. You can see them here. And we make them in 12. I don't have any 12s here, but... So you, if you want to have a longer handle, have at it. You can easily extend your handle by just getting another one of these shafts. Again, on our live sonar mounts page. So fishfindermounts.com, shop, and then live sonar mounts. You can add these on. Add your pull cap on if you want it to look really sweet and cool. And away you go. So that is the new idea. So if you want to get this handle when you're in the Gen 3 live sonar pull and beam mount kit, our most popular one as an example, you would choose none for your handle. You'd go down on the live sonar mounts page and you can find our fixed handle there. Just get a couple of those. Slap it on here. I mean, heck, guys, if you really wanted to, you could get two of these really fancy uh, tilt handles and put them on here, one adjacent to the other. You could do that if you want to. It's, it's going to be a bit costly. But, you know, the, the, the nice thing, I guess, not I guess, but the nice thing with this handle is that it's it's definitely more expensive, but you, you, you're you going to take this guy and you're going to be able to fold it and set it at different angles. You can see there's a, the camera looks, there's a locking sprocket type mechanism so you can get it at different angles. And I use it at a 45 degree angle ice fishing, right? So you can have everything folded up at the end of the day if you wanted. So that, that's really cool. So if you've got the bucks to spare and you want to really have a sweet slick handle system and you want to, like I was just showing you, just buy, you're going to have to buy. We sell the handle separately too on our website. But if you want this cheaper fixed handle, um, again, all of our handles are extendable now and they have been for some time. If you want that cheaper, uh, this, this cheaper uh, method, just pick none in your kit as the handle selection option. And then go butt down and pick, get grab two of these and put them in your cart. And then boom, you've got this set up right here from fishfindermounts.com. So make sure you visit our website, guys, and call us. You know, like we're here, we're, we're so helpful. We want to help you guys be, just make your fishing, like focus on fishing. Make this stuff easy. Once you're set up, man, you're golden. So I took this out already for you guys. Another feature I often forget to, to mention, show with a Gen 3 I know I'm getting to the heavy duty guys, I'm getting to the heavy duty, but it also has this tilt capability, okay? So you can tilt this right up and lock it in just like that. You know, you can still roll this over and you know, tilt it to whatever way you want this way too. So there is a lot of flexibility in the Gen 3. And I'll tell you man, guys from all walks, we've got a kayak version of this on our kayak mounts page guys, kayakers. There's so many kayakers getting this. This is the best unit by far for kayaks. It's just that capability. You can't, you know, barely have any room in your kayak. You need a way just to keep it stowed. And I'm going to show you, this is very, the, the HD, our HD unit that's coming out. Let's just, let's just pop this guy back in the water, guys. Let's pop it back. Boom, right? Let's rotate this guy. There's our LVS32 down here. We're going to lock this in, make it nice and tight, okay? There's our LVS32 down there, just turning around. Super, super nice. Okay, and another thing that we got going on, as you see, we've got this nice nylon uh, bushing in here now, guys. Really nice. Keeps everything very, very smooth and slick. And our pole system is all segmented. By the, by the way, guys, I want to make sure you guys understand, 7-8 seven eights, seven eights wrenches. You want to tighten these guys up. We've got we've made these wider shoulders here, so you can loosen them off, and you can get two nice seven eighths wrenches in here and make it super tight here at every joint where your poles. Two seven eighths wrenches, just like you see here. Get two of those, and you can tighten this this pole system up. It's not going to come loose when you just cr these 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 are big, right, guys? These are big, big, big wrenches. So grab a couple of those from your. Nearest hardware store and on your way you go. So now let's get to the exciting thing here. This is exciting too, but this is very exciting, guys. Look at this. This is the ultimate heavy duty, heavy duty system here. Now, I should have my calipers with me. Okay. So now we have our awesome prototype. Now this is the prototype, guys, okay? 
um, that we've been working on. And um, if, if the camera just comes in and starts to look at the beefiness, like, look at this guy. Look at this pole clamp. Look at the size of this thing compared to this thing. <laughs> it makes this Gen 3, which is awesome, it makes it look like wimp. <laughs> you can just see the massive size of this. The pull itself, you could slip these really inside of here. These one inch, these are one inch diameter, guys. One inch diameter. I'll show you that. Oops, let's get it off in inches. So 0.98 I'm showing here. So almost one inch, basically one inch. Now look at this guy here. Here, let's do it up here so Stephen doesn't have to. There, are one and a half inches diameter, this pull system, man. One and a half inches. And we have, because we are experts, and we are, yeah, we are experts in the state of the art. I had a screwdriver here, but if you get your Phillips screwdrivers, what we've done, we've, we've thought enough to, if you want, put two screwdrivers through here. You can get one in here. This is too big. This is this shaft's too big. This is a really heavy, big one, but you can get one normal Phillips into here and one normal Phillips into here. And you can use that like your wrench it wrench if you don't have a wrench this big. The wrench size for this, if you wanted to use wrenches instead of using that pole technique. So you got two choices here, guys. You know, you're not gonna be high and dry. This guy here is 1.3 inches. 1.3 inches, guys. Okay, 1.3 inches. Uh, if we go to fractions, one in 1964. Um, 33 millimeters. That's what that is there. 33 millimeters too, for anyone that's uh, not in the U.S. <laughs> essentially. So listen, listen, man. Okay. So what's so the, obviously a major glaring difference here. A major difference is that this is immense and powerful and so big and strong and boss. It really is going to be able to support your LVS 62 or any huge transducer you've got. No problem on whatever boat you want. You can take it up and down. You can ro rotate it down, in. You can, look at this guys, look at this. You can take this guy, and let's just tilt it up out of the water, just like before. See guys, now it's up out of the water. Your heavy duty live sonar pole mounting kit from fishfindermounts.com, only from us. This is a phenomenon. By the way, guys, look, again, experts in the state of the art here. We're gonna take this guy and we are going to show you. Look at this, guys. It's still portable. These guys here come in two foot lengths, guys. Two foot lengths. So you guys, if you wanna take this on and off your boat, if you really wanna do that, Hey, we're not stopping you. We're not stopping you guys, our friends. We are not stopping you. And there you go. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. So if the camera comes closer, we'll take our calipers and we'll show you. This is serious stuff, guys. This is the thickness of this aluminum we're using. It's six millimeter. Uh, let's go to the inches here for you guys. This is really heavy duty stuff. So this is a quarter inch of thickness of aluminum right here, man. A quarter inch, quarter inch. That's what this is, even a little bit bigger. Just crazy, okay? From fishfindermounts.com. And this, guys, I already know what this is. This is two feet, 24 inches, okay? Every segment's 24 inches. So we've got three together here. What's that? That's six feet. That's as tall as me. You got six feet from here to here. And then this adds a little bit too, right? This is gonna add some new transducers. Gonna be at the end, just like you see here. You're gonna have it at the end here. Now, we're still doing some tweaks. We gotta tweak this adapter. It's not quite threading on exactly how we want it to. So it's again, this is a prototype. We're very close though, guys. You gotta stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe because when this thing comes out, there will be a video. And if you don't catch it, you're not getting it. It's gonna be sold out before you even know it. So you just, you gotta be on it, guys. You gotta be on it. So watch. We're gonna take this guy here. We're gonna loosen off our vise. This is our vise. We're gonna call it our vise. 
and we're gonna lock this guy down again, okay? Lock it down, okay? And this guy had a linchpin here, okay? This is the Gen 3. This guy does not have a linchpin. It has our pull cap here at the end. Really cool, look at this. This is so sweet, guys. So we just wind that on, and when we loosen this up, we can take this and we can move it in and out to whatever distance we're gonna need, okay? Now, if we take, if we take our tape measure, what we're getting right now from the outside of the receiver block to the, the shaft here is at this point, now we're gonna probably make some longer beams here too, like some really long ones. But right now we're at about 10 and a half inches is what you're gonna get, 10 inches, okay? So it's similar to this guy here. Our Gen 3, okay? So Gen 3 is actually 11 inches. So it's a little bit longer here. We're gonna make longer beams here as well. So we'll probably have one, because we know, we know, we understand, and we, we've uh, spent time looking at a lot of different boats, big boats, where your gunwale edges can be very, very large. So if you want this right near the very edge, or the, the inside edge of your gunwale, um, there you go. Now. Going, I want to I want to show a couple of other things that come to mind right away. This is our riser block system. Not that any many of you will need it. We don't know, but that is a serious piece of aluminum. Now all of this stuff is anodized, hard anodized aluminum. It's going to be these guys. There's some pieces again. It's a prototype. Some of it's not anodized at this point, but some of these parts are, as you can see from FishFinderMouse.com. And what you do is you will rotate these blocks as you build your tower. And you'll, well, you'll have a screw kit from fishfindermouse.com. And then of course you can see here, if the camera comes in closely, these screw holes here on the outside mesh with these holes at the very end. So when you're done putting your tower together and securing it down, you'll take the, the, these four holes and you'll screw it down into your top riser block there to get your ultimate height. Now, Steve, are these four inches high? Yes, they are. So these are four inches high, guys, four inches high. So you're gonna build your tower in increments of four. So this is eight inches high right now. And the dimension of this, okay, this is gonna be a very interesting thing for you guys to see. We got, it is 4.6 inches by 4.6 inches. Okay, guys, 4.6 by 4.6. The whole patterns, okay, this is, um. When you wanna screw it down, you're gonna use these four holes here. So this is going to be your, I think we use a 3.15 by an inch and a quarter. Okay, inch and a quarter, that's just rough. I know what it is already. The calipers are just a rough, but 3.15 by inch and a quarter this way. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be your mounting footprint that you really need to be concerned with. And I wanna show you guys as well inside of this thing, okay? so. Just again, guys, there's so much to show you guys. It's so awesome. We don't, we only have one of these guys right now. This guy here, it will, you'll also, we'll also have one for the top here, okay? So that way, if for some reason you loosen this, shaft collar would just fall away, but it would stop here. It would get stuck here. And then on top of this, see, this is our directional, new directional indicator. Everybody, everybody can get one of these. If you got a Gen 3, get one of these. This is These are really cool, fun little things and they work really great for just showing you which direction you're shooting your beam at with your live sonar. But this guy also, also is gonna go here, okay? From fishfindermounts.com, there you go guys, look at that. There you got your little directional indicator there too, okay? So there we have it. We'll just leave it on here for now, okay? So I'm just gonna get the Gen 3 out of the way here. Pop it in this way. Actually, you know what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this guy right out. We're gonna pull our lunch pin here. We're gonna pull this guy right out just for now. You can see the LBS32 we have assembled right on here. And this is our quick disconnect breakaway. So this will bust if, you, if you're in fishing a lot of stumpy waters, this will just bust and you can buy replacements, okay? So that's really, really cool from fishfindermounts.com. And of course you have our folding mechanisms, tilting mechanisms up the yin yang, up the wazoo, whatever you want to call it. So 
You can stow that away nicely. Just put that there. So let's focus now, guys. Let's focus now on, I'm just gonna put this linchpin back in here. Let's focus on Fish Finder Mount's heavy duty pull system, man. Guys, this is so cool. Now, let's take it and let's rotate it up out of the water, right? Did we do this already, Steve? Yep. Okay, we're, <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Um, it's gonna loosen this off a little bit. There we go. And then we wanna crank it back down to get it nice and tight. Let's do it. There, yeah, nice and tight there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you inside this mechanism. I'm gonna show you inside of here too, okay guys? So we're gonna take this. Now there's gonna be some differences from what you see in the video. We are making tweaks. We are doing um, some things before we release to market. And we've got a good list today of we know exactly what to do to get us there. So we're not far away. Now here, let's open this guy up. Now like our Gen 3, I showed you earlier, there is a sh there's a sleeve inside of here which is, we just 3D printed it uh, for this, for our prototyping. So it, it kind of snapped when we were working on it. But uh, this is an example of 3D printing, guys. Um, there's probably a few companies that, one in particular I think of when I think of this stuff. So it's it, 3D printing, it's, it's cool for certain things, but it's not the strongest thing in the world. For this application it works, but. So here you have, your chamber or your bore. So you open this guy up and then of course you can load your pole in nicely and your, your sleeve and all of that can live on, on, on your pole of course. And that's what it looks like inside. It's cored out so that we'd still very, very strong, extraordinarily strong, amazingly strong. But of course we've worried about our, worried ourselves a bit with weight as well. So we're trying to keep that in, in mind. Okay, so there we have that. Um, again, pull caps with Fish Finder Mounts logo, directional indicator, is we want to open up our vice system. Very cool. And we're going to slide this guy up, just like so. Okay, guys? Look at that. It all comes apart. Look at this, guys. So with this pull cap at the end here, guys, it also goes in the end of the beam. So we're using the same uh, shaft materials we're using for the down pull for the beam. Very, very strong and powerful. This guy, you'll be able to get one at the end of here as well, okay? So you can't just pull it out. You'd have to untake that, take that off just so you don't make any mistakes and forget and suddenly things like this, very expensive, fancy, awesome, awesome things are in the water. We don't want that, okay? Now, here is our vice setup here. And we're gonna take this apart here. So I'm just gonna use the screwdriver to do it faster. So you don't really have, you're not gonna have much of a reason to do this but I wanna show you how you how you mount it, guys, okay? This, this is why we're doing this. Okay, so you can see there's a hook machined in. Very nice work here. Steve has done a great job in his CAD world doing his engineering work here. Thank you very much, Steve. You can see laser etch logo there. And you can see how this all works now. We've given you guys a couple of options here on how to mount. So this was our original prototype. We have, this is our second prototype we're looking at here today, guys, right here. This is our original. So when we first went through it, we wanted to provide more options, even narrower options. Um, if you guys are in, you know, you have a smaller area that you, you know, for the whole pattern that you're need, dealing with, we gave that to you. Plus you can use self-tapping if you want. We've used self-tapping here. Um, so this guy didn't have it, but we, we had the forethought to go, Hey, let's add some more holes and some, some cool features for you guys to make sure that you can get this on wherever you need it to go. Okay. So that's the first prototype and listen guys, just like our gen three. Okay. See this gen three, this is our gen three right here. Okay. This is the receiver block device block here. This is the same thing as a receiver block. Your beam goes in it, right? Your beam goes in it. The beam is this over here, if the camera looks here. The beam is this in the Gen 3 system, beam. In a, in a, in a construction, in a, in a house, and you have a nice log cabin or whatever, they have a major beam in the roof. That is a horizontal 
uh, edifice or, or, or object that is in the construction of that building. That's why we call it a beam because it is a horizontal piece that is actually shaft that's going out, a beam that's going out to give you that clearance over top of your gunwale edge or any kind of thing that you might find that you need to clear is the beam. So that's the terminology we're using. In Gen, in, uh, Gen 3 and Gen 2, and even Gen 1, which we don't sell anymore, there was the receiver block. In this case, you have the vise. Okay, guys, the vise. The beam vise. So that's what you get here. You get more than more than one, you know, set of options of mounting holes here. And of course, as I was showing you earlier, those mounting holes on the very edge will line up with our, our riser block here. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Very heavy duty. Extraordinarily heavy duty. So we pop that guy in, and now you have your mounting piece. Um, so we're we're happy. We're going to be having it so that you can have it on. Now here, this is also new from fishfindermounts.com. If you have nice wide gunnels on your boat and you want to be able to have lots of options of where to place things. By the way, guys, look at this. So cool. We got it in black too. Look at that. Super sweet. This is a competitor um, insert here. Adapter. Slides nicely along. And this is our adapter. And look at all the mounting holes in our adapter. So you just clamp that down when you're ready to go, right? You can you can get these end pieces from us so that it's sure stop. They can't get out of there. They can't get out. No way. And then of course we're gonna have holes or a block or something that will enable you to mount this guy down onto this adapter for our three inch wide track system. This is a three inch wide track system, guys. Okay, three inches. Look at three inches from that very side of the groove to the other side of the groove is three inches right there and each one of these is eight inches long i've done another video that goes into depth of this so i won't go into a lot of depth but you buy these in eight inch increments eight inch increments guys okay and you can build them as long as you want and they are the sexiest looking thing on the market by far this is what the competitors do this is what fish finder mounts does sweet beautiful and just the best, powerful, awesome, awesome stuff, okay? So, going back to the heavy duty, okay? The heavy duty, if you want a track system on your boat, you can install your vise on here. If you need to rise and get above something, you can use the riser block system to rise your unit up, out, off your boat to get over your gunwale edge if you need to, right? We'll take this riser here, we'll take this, this vice, the first vice we had, we'll take this and we'll pop it in here, right? So there you go. There's your there's your vice set up on your boat, ready to go, ready to roll, okay? So you got that. And we'll include all the hardware like we do for everything else. So we'll take this off. Take this guy off and that guy off. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put this guy back together. I want to show you guys how easy this thing is to put to put back together. Okay. Close. So you would, this is just going to be a one-time setup, guys. You wouldn't need to keep doing this over and over again. And you can see here, you need the profile of this base to be met, lining up with the contour of the cam here. Okay, and as you can see, this gets further, like deeper, and it's narrower up here. That gives it this clamping action. So you can get it very, very extraordinary tight. We're gonna take this guy here. This is our pole clamp, our pole clamp here. Okay, you remember I showed you guys that? Look at that, man, look at this. Here's my hands, I'm a six foot guy. Six foot guy, I don't have small hands. And um, you can see the size of this thing, man. This is serious. Here's my hand, right? Serious stuff. Beautiful, just beautiful stuff. So we've got that loose. All we have to do is slide it in nicely, guys. Look at that. We're gonna tighten this down. Very exciting stuff, guys. Oh 
yeah, that's not going anywhere. I have to rip. I could. I could lift. I could lift this if I if I had the strength of the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk. I could lift this whole table with this and just swing it around like a big freaking club. That's what I could do right now, man. But I can't because I'm not going to. <laughs> so there you go. We can move our beam in and out. Now, of course, we only have, unfortunately, guys, only have one of these protos of this pole, the, the, the heavy-duty pole cap. We're going to take this guy off for now. We don't need it anymore. This, you get one of these, it will go on the end of here. Okay, guys? And the end of your beam. So again, right? It stops there. Pause and stop it. And when you want to rotate, we're going to loosen the vise a little bit more. And boom. That's it, right? That's it. Now you're in you now you're in the stowed position. Let's put it together in the stowed position too. Look at look at our shaft collar too. Let's take this. So by the way, guys, I, I weighed this. These the all three bars, okay? All three shafts 24 inches long guys remember inch and a half thick super powerful strong strong stuff um you screw them together they're segmented but i've weighed these three poles together on our sh very accurate shipping scale and uh, they come to six and a half pounds all together so it's actually not as heavy as you'd think but still extraordinarily strong so it's actually pretty cool that uh, we, we tried doing it in stainless steel at the beginning and the weight of this was immense. It was just too much. We couldn't do it. We didn't want to do it because it was just, we just knew that it would just be overwhelming for a lot of people. So we didn't do that. And we're glad we did it this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our shaft collar. See this shaft collar? This is really cool too, guys. We're going to take this guy off, dual handle. So this is going to come like this. You're going to, you're going to get one. If you want to get two, you can get two, right? You can buy the shaft lens. You can get them in 12s. You can get them in 20s, right? These are our Gen 3 shafts. Gen 3 shafts, so you've got that, but we don't need that right now. What are we gonna do? We're gonna slide this guy. We pop this guy in here. Pop that guy in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy and tighten all this down. And now you've got it. Look at this. Let's rotate it. The other way around. How about that guy? Can we rotate it the other way around? Let's rotate it this way around and lock it in. Let's rotate it this way. Look. It's locked in now. Sweet. Wow. I love it. Just phenomenal. And this guy here, it's just all quick connect too, hey, guys. All quick connect. You just take this guy. Boom. It comes apart. You get your transducer right off. You don't have to leave it sitting in the water. You can... Um, just stow and protect your sensitive electronic gear, your transducers, whatever it may be. You're just loving it. Here we go back again. Let's get it back on. See how easy that is. Here, let's make it easy for us to work on this, okay? How about that? We'll, we'll flip it upside down. Let's do that, guys. Boom. We're gonna work on it this way. Let's do that. Let's do it upside down. So cool, guys. Yeah, let's do it this way. We'll just rotate the shaft and then on it goes. Now we got our quick connect on there. And again, this is this the, the threads were a little bit out when we first machined this guy. We're gonna work on it and we're gonna get it tweaked and it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna match right up here. And it's just uh, un unreal, unreal stuff. Let's loosen this off. We'll flip it this way. We'll flip it this way, get it in the water, right? Now we'll flip it this way, right? Look at that, guys. There you go. And then we can take it apart and use it like this. Just unreal. Add more links, add more links. Whatever you need. You got a huge boat, you need a lot of depth. You need a lot of length. Six feet, the next one's gonna be eight feet, the next one's gonna be 10 feet. Have at our guys, this stuff is solid, amazing. There you go, from fishfindermounts.com. So I've shown you guys, I, I wanna say the last thing is, you can have, just like with a receiver block system, you can have, more than one of these. Maybe you have more than one boat, okay guys? So you buy another vise for your beam and you put it on your other boat. Put that on, maybe you wanna have it at the bow of your boat or you wanna move it now to the stern of your boat. No problem, have a vise at your bow, have a vise at your stern. You wanna have one that just is able to move up and down the side of your boat. You could get a track system like this from us at fishfinderroutes.com. So make sure guys, 
you come to fishfindermounts.com for all your live scope, your extended range live scope, your um, uh, LVS 62, right, Steve? Yeah. LVS 62, 62 is the big blaster now. Awesome for ocean uh, like stuff, and it's extended range, obviously, in freshwater as well. And, and you guys, it's just going to keep rolling. People like live sonar is such an amazing technology. You're going to need this. You're going to need it. You're going to be left behind the dust by the other fishermen. So this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com. Make sure you give us a call. You know our number up here. I put a, a beginning card and an end card at the, at the beginning and our end of our videos. I have all the information to contact us at fishfindermounts with an S.com. Visit our website. Hey, we've got so many things and so such a wealth of knowledge between our experts here that you're going to be in the best hands possible. Thanks for watching, everyone.